Team Robot's project this semester was a robot vehicle that decides on the best path to the goal while avoiding obstacles. Our objective was a system that would run on its own without requiring our input. So to do this we needed a battery powered vehicle that could move freely, an automatic wireless transmission system, and a way to detect obstacles and monitor our vehicle. For the object detection and monitoring, we chose to use an image processing system driven by a Raspberry Pi. The image processing system is set up above the playing field so it can see everything. It will send a path to the vehicle and will monitor the vehicle to make sure it's following the right path to the goal. The vehicle's battery is a portable power bank, which is usually used to charge cell phones. We're using it to run the DC motors that are the main drivers of the robot. The drive wheels are in the back, and the robot is balanced in the front with a roller ball bearing. This allows much lower friction when moving and turning. The robot's main brain is an Arduino Uno. The steering system is relative to the current direction of the vehicle. We set that to be a value of 90, and we're using a traditional coordinate axis to figure out which direction to go from there. The vehicle receives directions from the Raspberry Pi, and the closer they are to zero, the more right the vehicle turns. The closer they are to 180, the more left the vehicle turns. We accomplish this by slowing down the motor on the side we need to turn towards. Since the opposite wheel is spinning faster, the vehicle will be pushed into a turn. And by tuning our vehicle's performance, we can make sure to avoid clipping the edge of obstacles as we pass by. Let's talk software. We can break down our solution into three main components image processing, a search algorithm, and video tracking of the robot. First, we need to define the robot obstacle and goal. So we color coded them into red, green, and black to make our lives easier. We also needed to expand the area of the obstacles. That way the robot wouldn't get too close. Next, we found the shortest path from the robot to the goal using an algorithm that is used all the time in video games called A-Star. The cool thing about A-Star is that it is not an exhaustive search, meaning it doesn't find every possible path. It actually prioritizes better paths so that we don't waste time on paths that don't work. Finally, we track the robot through the maze by finding the center of the two red circles. The different sizes allowed us to tell which direction the robot was pointing and give it good directions. One of the big problems we needed to solve was the speed of the search algorithm, and this required a lot of adjustments. One of those was to section off the game board into tiles, as you can see here. Another design choice we had to make was how to send information to the robot. In the end, we settled on a system where we would send the robot a direction angle. If the robot missed the target, it would just back up and try again.